Hey everyone, welcome back to Red Donkey Projections. I'm Eric and we have Lucas here as always. Hey guys. So today what we're going to be talking about is the best case scenario for that the Democrats have in the 2020 Senate elections. So let's get right into it. So let's begin by marking all the safe seats. Let's start with the Republicans first. Idaho, oops, Idaho, Wyoming, Nebraska, South Dakota. Oklahoma. We'll talk about Kansas later. Um, basically all the states. Oklahoma, Arkansas, Mississippi, Louisiana. Well, yeah, the South. Oops, let's first get rid of that. Georgia general election, we'll talk about the special later, and Alaska. Now let's get into Democrats. <clears throat> Oregon, New Jersey, Delaware, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Illinois, Dick Durbin's seat, and also New Mexico as well. I think we have hit all of them. Yeah. Oh, Virginia too. And Minnesota. All right, cool. Let's start discussing. Um, the first state we want to talk about is Texas. Texas is swinging more and more to the left. Currently, their incumbent is not super, super popular. Um, with that being said, polling does have him leading by a couple of points, which is kind of surprising in a state like Texas. And for that reason, I still don't think it will go to the democrats because we have to remember this is texas an extremely um, red state but i'm going to be giving it lean usually we give it likely but if the democrats campaign super hard here the best case scenario would be lean mm -hmm. now let's head to arizona eric can talk to you about arizona um uh, so i think that arizona best case scenario will be a People who state Mark Kelly is running. Mark Kelly has a brand name. He was an astronaut, as we said in early videos. So we think, in best case scenario, it's going to be a solid Democratic win for Arizona. Plus, um, also Martha McSally, Martha McSally is like the name brand, but in the opposite way. They know she ran, they know she lost, but she still got appointed. So I would agree with the likely Democratic. Because if, again, this is the best case scenario and they're putting all their resources into it, Mark Kelly should be able to deliver the win pretty soundly. Mm -hmm. Now let's head to Colorado. This is um, Hickenlooper, the former governor of Colorado and a former 2020 presidential candidate against Cory Gardner, who is an avid Trump supporter. Now, Colorado has been swinging to the left recently. Um, we've seen in the most recent elections, the Democrats have been carrying it pretty well in the presidential elections. Um, for that reason, in our usual maps, I think we put this as either tilt or lean. So if this is their best case scenario, I think this would be likely. Yep. Yep, all right, cool. Now let's head to Kentucky. Um, this is Mitch McConnell's seat. We can have Eric talk to you about that. Yeah, so as Lucas said, Mitch McConnell, the Senate Majority Leader is from Kentucky. So that is a huge incumbency advantage considering he's a majority leader over all of the United States Senate. Yes. Even and in the then, Democratic state's best case scenario, I think it's still going to be a red state. Yeah, but then um, I do agree with that part, but I also do think that we got to remember that this is Mitch McConnell. He's the second most um, disapproved of uh, senator in the United States. So, yes, I agree with it going red. Do I agree with it being likely? Um, no. We put him as likely in our usual projections. But if this is their best case scenario, I put this as a lean. All right. Now let's head to Michigan. Michigan is um, John James versus Gary Peters. John James is this brand name um, person who ran in 2018 for the Michigan Senate seat. He's running again for the other Senate seat now. Um, however, polling does have Peters up by a comfortable margin. Um, many news sources put this as a lean margin. If this is their best case scenario, I think it's a likely margin. 
What do you think on that? Yep, I agree with that, especially for best case scenario. Democrats usually contain Michigan very well, so Michigan should not be a problem for them. Likely is a good categorization. All right, let's head to Alabama now. Now, Eric can explain the Democrats' um, seat in Alabama. This is currently held by Democrat Doug Jones. Yeah, so this was a huge shock to everyone, the fact that a Democratic senator was able to win in the Deep South. Although this managed to happen, even in the Democrats' best scenario, you know, better Rourke in Texas similarly tried to uh, run against Ted Cruz, and he still lost in this day and age. I think the same applies to Alabama. But if this is the Democrats' best case scenario, I might give it a lean red. Interesting. All right. So um, this is either going to be um, Doug Jones is either running against um, former Attorney General Jeff Sessions or Tommy Tuberville, who was a football coach. Um, you know, I think in our regular projections, we put this as a lean Democratic or either likely. So um, I am either thinking tilt or toss up because um, currently the Democrats are pouring in a lot of money for the um, for Doug Jones. And if everything else goes right, then because remember, this is best case scenario. If everything goes right for the Democrats, mm, that's right. I think it can go either way. So I think it's a pure toss up. What do you think about that? Um, now that I think about it, if you put it in that perspective, I come to agree with you. All right. Because, uh, you know, they're if you're saying they're pouring a lot of money for him and in this case, that could help him a lot, Jones. Mm -hmm. Now let's head to the neighbors in the East. We got Georgia, special election. This is Kelly Loeffler's seat. Uh, she recently had the Kelly Loeffler scandal, um, which is where people were, she was accused of doing insider trading, which means that she got information that allows her to like, you know, pull stocks out and um, buy stocks. Um, I think the Democrats' best case scenario, they want Kelly Loeffler to win. If Kelly Loeffler wins the primary election, then that means that she has this um, brand name, but it's like scarred almost because of her scandal. And if that happens, then in, and if the Democrats put up a good person, then that could be a really contested fight. And for that reason, I think I'm going to put Georgia special as um, toss up, pure toss up. Yeah, yeah. There's, it's way too close to call. North Carolina, this is uh, Tillis' seat, Tillis versus Cunningham. Currently, Cunningham is leading by, like, quite a bit. Um, Cunningham isn't the incumbent. Tillis currently is the incumbent right now, so this is potentially a pickup. I would actually put this one as lean, Repu lean Democratic, considering he's already currently up eight points, uh, give or take. Um, if this is the Democrats' best-case scenario, and they're putting all the money in and helping them out as soon as possible, everything they can do, it'd be lean. Usually I put this as tilt, but um, best case scenario, it's lean. I was actually uh, studying a map of North Carolina for the Senate, and most of the votes, and probably the reason why they're leading without best case scenario is because of their districts that are located up north. That border Virginia, which is a, um, a blue state. Interesting. And we do put Virginia currently as a safe state, so that might be a reason why. Um, Let's head to Kansas now. Kansas um, is currently, the seat is currently held by, oh, currently, it's currently, it's, it's going to be an open seat, actually. The incumbent is retiring. It's going to be Chris Kobach running against um, Laura Kelly. Now, the issue with Chris um, Kobach is he's incredibly unpopular. He used to be the Secretary of State of Kansas. He made many controversial laws, and people don't really like him that much. And for that reason, I think this is a tilty state. Usually it goes lean Democratic or even tilt, I'm mean, sorry, lean Republican or even tilt Republican. If this is their best case scenario and everything goes right and people don't like Chris Kobach, then it goes to the Democrats. I agree with that. Now, Iowa, Iowa is usually a red state. Um, before, um, it was a swing state. Uh, Obama carried it both times he ran. Um, however, Iowa has become more red recently. Um, many news outlets does put the seat at um, lean Republican because it is getting contested. And the polls are also incredibly close as well. 
Um, for that reason, I'm going to leave this one as a toss up. If the news outlets say it's a lean Democrat, a lean Republican, then, um, then I think that if this is the best case scenario, I put it as a toss up. Great. Um, now let's head to Maine, where um, Eric can talk about um, Speaker of the House of Representatives of Maine, Sarah Gideon, is going against the most unpopular senator in the United States, Susan Collins. Yes, yeah, so uh, Susan Collins, I actually want to start with her. She, you know, she's known for switching and voting completely differently on many different uh, laws. Such as and, Obamacare. Yeah, Obamacare and Kavanaugh as well. And that is the reason why she becomes so unpopular. And I don't know if the citizens of Maine appreciate that or like her for her stances on topics. So because of that, I'm going to give this to Sarah Gideon, who, and making it a blue state. Definitely agree with that. Usually, we put this as tilt. If everything goes right for the Democrats, this is a lean Democratic state. So I think that lean would be a correct characterization. And now we're at our final state, Montana. Montana. This is currently held by incumbent Senator Steve Daines, who is a Republican. He is mildly popular. And the current governor, Steve Bullock, is running for um, the seat. Bullock against ran for, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Bullock ran for president in 2020, which gives him some sort of popularity, but he dropped out early in the race. Yep, that's correct. And people don't really remember him that much. So I don't know if that like, it's going to really help him that much in this race. But what's, what is going to help him is that he's the current governor and he's extremely popular. He's one of the most popular governors in the United States. He has that name recognition. And usually this is a toss up. But if this is um, the best case scenario, scenario for Democrats, I think it's either tilt or lean. Um, I give it lean. Lean? Interesting. Case. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like what Maine is. Except it's a different situation because this here we have an unpopular senator, but here we have a popular governor. Well, that wraps up today's video. Um, thank you all so much for watching this episode of the best case scenario for Democrats in the Senate. Please keep in mind that this is not our projection. Our projection um, we filmed last week. You can go check that out. But um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Um, we'll, we'll see you tom in tomorrow's video where we do the best case scenario for Republicans. See ya.